Hi there, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Here we are in Psalm 31. We're going to look at verse 19 today. Uh, but before we get into the word, I invite you to let's pray. God, how good you are. And we cherish your goodness. We call upon your goodness. And we need your goodness. Lord, be faithful to us. Shower your goodness over us in Christ, by the Holy Spirit, that we would love you and live for you. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Psalm 31, verse 19. Oh, how abundant is your goodness, which you have stored up for those who fear you and worked for those who take refuge in you in the sight of the children of mankind. Now, goodness is in some ways a virtue. It's, it's kind of an internal and intrinsic attitude or disposition. It's a, a quality or characteristic. But everything that is ethereal or, or perhaps not a tangible, like goodness, as a character and quality always shows through in one's conduct. Not only does God love us, but he shows us that he loves us. Not only is God good, but he acts in a good way toward us. Not only is God gracious, but that graciousness as an attitude is demonstrated in the gracious offering of Jesus Christ perfect and sinless for our sinful selves. Here, God's great goodness is called upon, but also that which David knows he experiences. And he says that God's goodness is abundant. There isn't like a, an exhaustible supply of God's goodness. It's, it's abundant. It's, it, there's a plethora of it. You might say that God's goodness is immeasurable and innumerable. Why? Because it's in an attribute, a quality and characteristic of who God is. God is good. Therefore, God acts in a good way toward those that love him and trust him. God's goodness is is. Uh, stored up, he says. It's it's as if the the supply is is not just enough, but it's super abundant to those who fear him and that take refuge in him. So here we have again those that fear him. There's a reverence. There's an internal attitude and inclination of the heart. Those that fear God. Those that in faith trust God. But that faith and trust in God is not just uh, by itself. Our faith in God shows through in our faithfulness to God. Attitude and action are in concert with one another. And so uh, this goodness that is abundant in God is stored up for those who have uh, an internal disposition or inclination that fear him, that reverences him. And it's worked for those who take refuge in him. So the, the faith in God that we have shows through in our willingness and our constant responsiveness of dependence on God. And all of this, God's great goodness that is shown to those who trust him, not just internally, but outwardly as well. God's great goodness to those who trust him is a testimony to the nations. This, David says, is all done in the sight of all the people of the earth, in the sight of the children of mankind, every human being, especially to those that do not know God by faith. Your and my experience and enjoyment of God's goodness because we have faith in God and live faithfully for God, that goodness and benevolence of God is a testimony to the world. And it's a, it's a call to the world to trust Jesus Christ 
themselves. Hopefully this is an interesting and beneficial uh, insight for you as you reflect upon and savor the goodness of God. God's attitude that shows through in his action toward us. And our attitude of faith shows through in our faithfulness to God. There's always a perfect constant concert between who we are internally and externally. May we savor this goodness of God. I'll see you again tomorrow.